scare last night. Oh? Damn near told her about you. Really? She was after me, <clears throat> telling me what a good listener she is, just dying to find out. Wouldn't like to come on that way. This is crazy, you know that? What is? You're talking about some goddamn hallucination just like it's the real thing. Maybe it is. You mean maybe you're really married? Maybe. And this friend, Dave, maybe she's real too. Could be. And what the hell does that make me, David? <laughs> A figment of my imagination. Beans. You could be. Pemberton said so. Am I supposed to know who that is? A doctor I went to. A shrink. You went to him or Ross went to him? What difference does it make? You're sick, David. You know that you're flipped out of your skull. Now you're taking his side. You know, he says that in this world, I'm a homicidal maniac. Cut it out. Since I'm the only one who really exists here, I could snap your neck like that and I'd never regret it. You'd regret it, all right. And why is that? You'd have to find somewhere else to sleep. <laughs> you're right, you know that. You're right. Let me ask you a question, David. Serious now. Sure, serious. You ever really get confused? I mean, between what's dreams and what's real. Well, you see, you say real. Well, I. I do. Oh, you do. I, I used to think about things that happened to me when I was a kid, and that I ever they never really happened. I only dreamed about them so much they seemed real. I'm going to be an old broad in a home someday, sitting in a rocking chair and Godwood stories I'll often tell. Some of them will be real, some won't, and I bet I don't know the difference. That's a picture. You and old broad in a rocking chair. It's gonna happen. I know it. I mean, if I live that long, I dream about it all the time. So I'm not the only one with screwy dreams? Of course not. I don't know one who don't dream, and believe me, one dreams as screwy as the next. all of life's dreams. I mean, we're all just sitting here thinking these things are happening. You religious, Dave? Any of your business? I was when I was a kid. I wanted to be a nun, but we were Methodist. If you're Methodist, you can't be a nun. I bet that surprises you. What does? Me being religious. Nothing about you surprises me. Well, you're kind to say so. Anyhow, I got to thinking about what heaven really is. So when we all wake up from this dream we're having in death, you know, death is the alarm clock. Do you ever think anything like that? Like what? What I just said. Pemberton would have said so. Forget Pemberton, huh? Pemberton would have said the only way you had thought of it is if I had thought of it first. Will you stop it now? Anita. I'm tired of it, Davy. All this junk about me being part of your dream. For all you know, you're part of my dream. For all you know, I'm the dreamer. You're the goddamn figment. Why can't this be my dream? Can you prove it, Ed? Listen! I can't prove it. I can prove it with you the way I proved it with Sligo. What did you do with Sligo? I killed him. And then I burned his body. You are nuts. Sure. So I'm killing you. It doesn't count. Damn it. You know the dreamer never dies in Eden. Did you know that? I can prove that right here, right now. Pressure. Say it, I'm the dreamer. Say it, Anita. Say it! Anita. Anita, I was only joking. Anita! <laughs> I knew you couldn't prove it. <laughs> what happened? What are you trying to do? 